Hello and welcome back to another 10 minutes until landing video and today we're going to do one of the hardest landing challenges I have ever done that is to Honduras's Tonkontin airport and as you can see from the chart we're approaching from the north looping around and entering northbound from the south so looking at the RNP approach as programmed in the MCDU I've made sure that the speeds and the altitudes work out well for me. That is, I want to be as slow as possible on my approach in order to make it more accurate. So as I enter the approach, I am going to make sure that my speeds and altitude are set accordingly. Now the airport is somewhere, it was somewhere over there. I think I can see it in the distance, but the simulator isn't uh, good enough in rendering that far ahead yet so we're just going to go and take a look at uh, the airport as we can see it on our navigation display instead so as you can see we're making a descent and the two things I need to look out for are altitude and airspeed so the airspeed I'm going to manage based on uh, the amount of flap I can apply so I'll put the speed brake on and I will put the seatbelt signs on as well in order to prepare our cells for our descent we're going for a medium water braking and we are just going to keep monitoring the speeds and altitude so as you can see there's a green dot on the altitude and we need to make sure that we maintain that green dot and for our airspeed we just need to keep it between the two bands uh, either side of the target speed so as you can see uh, every time we get to a uh, altitude limitation uh, the aircraft does try and level off uh, that does cause a few issues with the engine as it uh, spools up uh, but we will be managing that uh, as and when we see fit so as I said before one of our best utilities for managing our airspeed will be our um, flaps so I'm going to apply a stage of flap now uh, another thing that we can do is lower the landing gear which is what I will be doing as well I think it's important to note that although a lot of my videos on this channel are filmed on my first attempt, this actual landing at Tonkontin has taken me about three or four tries already. And the reason for that was because I was either landing too softly or too far away from the touchdown zone, or a combination of the two. So I take manual control here because the green dot on the altitude display has kind of deviated too far away from our current altitude. You can see that shortly afterwards the green dot is replaced by the RNAV slash RNP glide slope and localizer indicators. So for this landing I fully anticipate there's going to be GPWS warnings uh, regarding terrain and descent angle uh, but I have been watching a few videos of other aircraft actually landing into Tonkontin and it seems like this is actually true to life. So I'm just taking a few glances over to the left in order to work out where the airfield is compared to where we are. Uh, but as you can see, I am trying to keep either on the glide slope or just under it because when we turn, it's going to be very difficult to maintain our descent. Five hundred. 
so I use this mound as a reference point to uh, begin our turn. I do it quite sharply in order to get to the uh, the airfield, um, but it's going to be a very, very sharp dive towards the airfield from here. Think rate. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Think rate. All right, so we Pull are up. lined up with the runway. Forty. We'll flare Forty. as per usual. We'll hold it. Ten. And then Five. we touch down on the markers and we roll out. Spoilers, reverses are green. And we have diesel. So there we have it, a landing at Tonkontin Airport. What did you think of my attempt? Could you do better? Have you got any tips or tricks that you use? Please let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, as always, sit back, relax and watch this landing replayed at different angles.